Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the 1394 Restoration Project. Today we're going to work on rebuilding the water pump off it. Uh, I'll turn the camera around and show you guys that. And of course I didn't bring my light down here, but anyway, this is the water pump. As you can see, I'm getting ready to pull off this pulley. Uh, this is another water pump. This is off of the 995. Uh, there's a slight difference <clears throat> between the two water pumps. Very slight difference. And it's mostly got to do, man, pay attention where the camera's at here, dummy. It's mostly got to do with uh, these outlets here. So we're going to stick with a 1394 pump. I got a rebuild kit for it. So we're just going to pull this pulley off uh, first and then, I don't know, figure out what step the second is, I guess. There goes much to that. I uh, put the puller on it with a little bit of heat just for good measure and she came right off. So, looks like we got a couple. Couple bolts holding it on. So we'll take those. Hold it together, I mean, so I'll take those out. There's an o ring back here. The o ring right here that's got to be removed, too. But not much of a hurry for that, I guess. Take those bolts out. All right, that's the bolts out, I think. So now we'll just try to separate it, I guess. <clears throat> Somehow. Yeah, we're going to take this piece here and support it somehow. We're going to push it, this, this center piece down through it. So I'm going to figure out how to do that, I guess. All right, so I was able to get the bearing and shaft also out of this housing. I just pounded on it. No, I didn't pound on it. It wasn't that bad. Uh, with a hammer and punch, so it was like that. And I'm not really sure where that <laughs> where that seal came from. It must have been right here. Cause, uh, yeah, that must have been where it was at. Anyway, uh, there's kind of a spring thing in here. And yeah, you can definitely tell there's wear in it. Let me just show you guys. Probably hear that pretty good, I would think. Quite a bit of movement in it. Kind of crusty in here too. So anyway, that's the old one. We got a new one to replace that. And the, uh, the impeller looks all right, I think. Might just clean that up a little bit. And we're ready for reassembly. Alright, just for reference, maybe even for myself, the seal come out uh, this way. So, it was like that. Alright, we'll clean this up and get ready for reassembly. Alright, so it's the next day. I got the water pump part soaking in here. 
Then this electrolysis bath, I kind of expected to see more uh, suds and stuff in there and bubbles, but I don't know, it was going pretty good last night. It's still doing a little bit there, I can see. So anyway, we're gonna take it out and uh, just have a look, see what kind of progress it's being made. Maybe, maybe clean up the anodes and put it back in, we'll see. Uh, so I'm using a, I think it's 10 amp. 10 amp constant, 12 amp surge, pyramid power supply, uh, and a five gallon bucket. We got some uh, super washing soda or whatever you call it in there for electrolyte and the anodes and one of your side, as you can see. And then this bar going across the top, which all of our parts are connected to. So I've had mixed results with battery chargers, and I've had this thing for a long time for charging remote control car batteries back when I was younger and I haven't really used it for a whole lot since but I figured why not try it for this it puts out 10 amp constant so yeah it seems to be working pretty good it was bubbling up pretty nicely there yesterday evening and you can still see it doing a little bit there it's kind of dark I should have brought my light over but whatever so yeah we're gonna pull that stuff out of there and check it over and see if we need to put it back in All right, so I put the two water pump halves back in, and we're going to put the uh, pulley back in, but the impeller itself cleaned up nice. I put a bit of uh, WD-40 on it there to prevent any more rust, so I'm just going to pull the anodes out. You can see they're crustified a bit, so I'm just going to scrape off the rust and hit them with a grinder or something just to get some bare metal and put it back in and leave it for a bit uh we'll probably pick up this video once i get the stuff good and clean and uh yeah i'll move on to some other project now just for the time being which you'll probably see in another video so just gonna let it do its thing and uh, we'll meet you back here All right, I got the water pump all painted. I'm not sure exactly why I taped off that area there. It's not going to matter anyway because this pulley is going to go uh, over it. So we're not going to see it anyway, but I uh, probably should have painted it. And I don't know, whatever. So uh, I guess the first thing we've got to do is install the new bearing and shaft into this piece here and then put the pulley on according to the service book. So anyway, I'm just gonna set the camera up and uh, maybe do like a time-lapse kind of thing or something like that, maybe. So here we go. <laughs>
we're back at this forgive the lighting it's the windows right there so i installed this impeller there this morning it says to have between two and twelve thousandths gap between the housing and the uh <coughs> impeller there so i got it set around four and a half or so uh four slides under no problem five is a bit heavy so we'll call it four and a half it was a little bit tighter than i wanted but that's just how it worked out when it uh when it went down with the hammer so anyway all that's left now is we're going to put our gasket on like so we're going to use uh aviation deformer gasket on it first <clears throat> and that won't focus at all but whatever i only got one hand here there we go so we're gonna put that on it first and then install the gasket and put the water pump halves back together and that'll be it for now until it goes on the engine so the water pump's been sitting here just setting up uh, most of the day i wanted to mention because i forgot before um this thing only has two bolts in it that actually thread into the housing to hold it together and they're both on the same side too they're like uh it's not these two i guess it's this this one here and on the other side so there's nothing really that holds it on this side other than when it's on the engine so what i did was i just took a bunch of bolts and these are thread these are you know through holes so i just put nuts on the other side of it and just tighten it all down to uh hold it together while it sets up and uh yeah that should be good enough for now and then we'll touch up the paint a little bit on it uh, and it'll be ready to put on the engine when the time comes so it spins freely and all that there's no movement or anything like that like there was before so hopefully it doesn't leak or anything like that and it'll be good to go so hope you guys enjoyed the water pump rebuild video uh just one piece at a time working at the tractor uh hope to see you guys in the next video don't forget to leave a comment and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the 1394 rebuild projects or if you're just here for you know how to rebuild a water pump then hope you got some uh i don't know useful information out of it it should apply to uh any of the david brown water pumps for these four cylinder engines and maybe for the other ones as well i'm not 100 percent sure on that but anyway thanks for watching